So I have no what I have nothing to boast about. I can't say, well, I, no, 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 because what God was trying to do in me was get the residue of what I thought he had done to me, get that out of me, because it, I'm paying all the attention to me and not knowing about somebody else's hurt, even though they have made themselves an enemy, then I'm going to always be concerned about me. So God said, if I can get you free, is I can get you out of you so that I can get in you. That's what he's asking us to do. When you love your enemy, you empty yourself of the right to be right. You're not saying that they were right. You're saying, I'm doing the word. <laughs> Go ahead and say it with me, Lord, help us. But that's your victory. That's your victory. This church has a 35th year anniversary so God could set you free. Why go another 10 years in the same condition you were at the 35th year celebration? This is your time of victory. This, God's not bringing all these people in through the Godot so that y'all can have a good time and say such and such spoke at your church. He's bringing liberty to you. Now watch this, watch this. You will never have an empty seat when people are free because they will make sure that somebody know where they got set free. The woman that was healed, she, man, she had a revival by herself. She, in her own condition, went and began to tell people. They said, wait a minute, there's something different about her. And they followed him. You must be free. But if you're sitting worshiping God with all of the unforgiveness and hurt and pain from other people who you consider your enemy and you have not been challenged by this word, tonight is your night. Glory to God. It's your freedom. This is your time. God wants Sacramento. God wants to own Sacramento. God, and how is he going to do it? Watch this, if he do it through you, you will never ever want anything for the rest of your life. Oh, don't patty cake, go ahead and give God praise, come on. Come on, give him glory in this place. This is what you want. I'm gonna give you a principle that the Lord told me about this. He said, when it's two believers, both are wrong till it gets right. When it's two believers, both are wrong till it's right. None of you have the right to say it wasn't my fault. It's, when it's, it's two believers, both believers are wrong until that thing is straightened out. Both. So oh, you, 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 <laughs> whoo, glory to God. You love your enemies, you bless them that curse you. You bless them that curse you. you bl now, 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 put, this, put this word in your notes. Aggressively doing these things. Aggressively doing them. Not, you're not the passive person here. You're the aggressor. You're the, you're the one who's saying, I've got to make peace. I've got to make peace here. I've got to do this. I've got, I've got to, I've got to. Now, it's going to take more than just doing this because we talked about the filter. I think that was at, at the other campus. We talked about the filter. So what's in most of our heads is a question of right and wrong, who did and who didn't, rather than the word. See, what, when Paul says renew your mind, he said take out all the right to be right. Take all of that stuff. Take all the pain that you've had, all the stuff that you've suffered, all the things you didn't think you, that's supposed to come, get that out of your head. Now, what, what you're going to put in it is the word. You're going to put the word there. So when any issue come up, it'll confront the word or be confronted by the word rather than run in to the things that have happened to you and that's the number one people people are not maturing in the body because they cannot get over who hurt them 
every time a message like this comes, the filter opens up and you go, oh my God, I can't even, I don't even know if I can forgive. Yes, you can. I've got people that are struggling with this very issue right now, but if they read in the Bible says that God's going to give them a Cadillac, there's no struggle. They can believe that. But if he's asked them to love your enemies, oh, I just don't know. It's the same God, people. It's the same God that you think you can get a Cadillac from or a new hairdo or go to school on a grant. It's the same God to tell you, love those people who hate you. Glory to God. And you ought to get as happy on that as you do on anything else. Somebody ought to say amen in this place. I'm preaching it because I had to do it. Not because I think it's a good scripture that we should cover, but we're talking about faith. Faith is not fully developed until you can do the word. I'm zealous for you all, Pastor. I'm zealous. I'm waiting for just 10 people out of the multiple service you have to believe what you're saying and raise up a standard in this city and become a million and a billionaire because they believe God's word. That's all. If 10 do it, if 10 do it, it'll turn Sacramento upside down. But we cannot do it with you patting yourself and giving yourself permission to hold on to pain and hurt. I don't care how bad it was. You've got a God big enough, bigger than that pain, bigger than what you've gone through. Somebody ought to say amen to me. 